Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. It's day 29 of the SAS plan and today I have submitted my results. Um, I asked Coral to take my bikini photos this morning and I have to say, for the first time ever on my body coach journey, I was actually thrilled with the photographs the second I saw them. Now what normally happens is I look at the photograph and go, Oh, and then take about five, ten minutes to start to see the good things that I'm seeing. But today, it was instant. Wow, look at me. I can't believe that I look like that. Um, so that was a big thing for me. It was like a giant leap forward. And especially after the kind of few weeks that I've had where I've been full of self-sabotage really and quite self-deprecating um, I needed that this morning and it stood me in good stead because I then got on the sad step and realized I've lost 1.5 kilograms across the four weeks that I've been doing the SAS and I then went out and I smashed a 5k run so I'm not a runner don't really do running don't like it very much um, it's a lot easier without all the tummy skin, I have to say. And I set myself a challenge of running 100k over the next eight weeks. So I'm two weeks into that challenge. I've done 21k so far. And as part of that, I'd signed up for a virtual run, a 5k. Now, I've only ever done 5k twice in my life. The first time was a 5k race for life um, with like events in between it um, and I did that with Gail from the Big Girls Genitaline group. The second time I did a 5k was at Christmas with my husband and we ran into the village. So today he came with me and we did it again and it was a struggle for me. The final kilometre was into the wind and uphill and it nearly killed me. Um, but I did it and we did it in 31 minutes and 39 seconds so not too shabby in terms of time and I felt fabulous afterwards. I then went and did weights and did my squat challenge and I have suffered for the rest of the day with a tummy that looks like it's pregnant. Not helped by the fact that I had French toast as my post-workout meal. So I don't think my body likes bread. It never did pre-tummy tuck. It doesn't post tummy tuck and it is worse in terms of side effects because I just look like I'm pregnant. Um, but that's the way of it and I'm getting used to swell hell. Um, I just have to take what I look like in the morning and hope that one day I will look like that all day, every day. <laughs> I am sure that day will come. Um, I think... We've had a lazy day today. Finley managed to sort of sprain his little toe um, yesterday. So he's been hobbling around on crutches. So we've just had a lazy day in the garden, um, chilling and lots of family time, which has been nice. And I've got a busy week ahead at work. So that's been much needed. Um, I'm feeling pretty tired. Um, God, it must be the lack of carbs, mustn't it? But though I'm feeling tired, I'm feeling a bit more balanced in terms of my emotions and how I've been feeling about myself. So I think on the whole, it's good. I'm going to spend a couple of hours this evening adding to the book. I'm up to about 18,000 words now. So it's coming, it's coming slowly but surely. Um, and I'm enjoying the process. I'm writing about bits that are, that are uh, slightly more fun at the moment. So <laughs> there we are. Um, yeah, I think that's me today. So I have, oh, I should say I've signed up for month two or, well, I've written to Mr. Monk, Joe Monk at Body Coach, um, because I can't physically do it online for some reason, but, um, I'm sure he'll sort it out for me tomorrow. So yes, let's see what month two has in store and I will speak to you all tomorrow. <laughs>